Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Digital Flash Fire. This is Dan. Today we're going to show some top tier heavy brutality. Basically, this is going to be me being a bully into top tier heavy tanks. The first one is the hilarious M6A2E1. I love this tank. This is a pre order heavy. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Deal with it. Um, I pre-ordered this a million years ago, and even though I'm 6,000 games in, I'm still, you know, a pumpkin feeling the season. The gun is kind of a slightly downgraded gun from a T-29, the Tier 7 US Heavy, but the front armor on this is just hilarious. Um, it doesn't have the accuracy you expect from a US Top Tier Heavy, but that's not going to keep me from hunting weak spots on the Oni. Uh, the Japanese heavy tanks, the turrets aren't as weak as they are on, say, Soviet multi-turret tanks, like the KV-5, but it's still what you want to aim for. I've got the FCM-50T and the Oni focusing on me. Neither of these is a big problem. The FCM player is bad. The Oni isn't really a whole lot better. Um, and you can see the, the shells are flying fast and furious. This is not a particularly high-skilled game. Um, we have a very good win chance, or we have a pretty good win chance. It was a, an opportunity not to suck, basically. And I'm just trying to get up far enough that I can get this guy and pop one into his turret. Now, they can crit, you know, they can hit my tracks and do crits, but they aren't going to penetrate my armor very well. I say as the FCM-50 manner just to do so. Boom, finish off the Oni. Now... I know there's tanks over there because we haven't spotted, you know, at least the artillery. And the now I know all the fast guys are going around the north, and I'm not too worried about it because we've got enough up there that they're going to get robbed. But I do want to get this FCM out of here. I'm on 1150 damage, and that guy's on 1100, um, 1100 hit point XP pinata. But Bert over there hit me earlier, and I don't like when artillery hits me. Back to the garage. And he bounces, and I don't... Or no, I do that time, yeah. I want to keep him in place because that guy is fast enough. He's basically a medium tank. He can duck around to the side of me, you know, get up against me so close that he can shoot into my side and I can shoot into his side, and trades like that are not what I want to do. I want to be front to front. Now... I am going to keep pounding away at him and just, I mean, he's not doing anything to help himself. He's just shooting 240 millimeters of armor. Kill him, and hey, my next target just popped up. It is the terrible, terrible AMX driver. I can see they are, they're not in very good shape. Of course, I dink that shot into his tracks because I'm, I'm, I'm not much better. Take a shot from behind from their artillery. Hit the AMX, and now I need to get some, get my ass against something so that artillery doesn't finish me off. The T-44 and the SU-101 are going to come around, but as you can see, I want to kind of protect myself. I blast the roof of the building, and the Panther II is about to die. Our AMX has circled him. Pop goes the weasel. And our AMX, our other AMX is going after him, and I put a shot into the uh, AMX CDC. Every French tank is AMX. They should just take AMX out. Boom! And that's how you end a match, folks. Run right into them and take them out. That was a fun little game. We ended up with 7,000 experience, 122,000 credits, uh, 94,000 credit profit, uh, 7,000 or sorry, 3,711 damage, 1,200 base experience, and then a bunch of multipliers for all the bonuses going on this week. And my team actually held up pretty well. We had six guys with over 1,000 damage, another guy with 930. That's not bad. They had three guys with over 1,000, the FCM, the Panther, and the AMX 5100. Uh, not surprisingly, I got a bunch of medals. I got a um, high caliber... Only a first class mastery badge. It is hard to get ace master ace badge in this. Uh, Sixteen hits only, eleven penetrations. I dinked a lot of shots into Oni's at, at longer range. 
Uh, had 2,400 damage blocked by armor, so if I had not, you know, yard into that last guy, I would have ended up with a steel wall. Uh, just a just a solid, fun match. And now, let's see something a little different. All right, folks, this is the Panzerkampfwagen 6 Tiger. This is a historic, iconic tank that... In real life, it was shooting mostly at T-34s and low-level KVs and Sherman tanks. In this game, it gets thrown in against ISs. It gets thrown in against um, T-29s, against tanks that it never had to face historically. And as such, it has a much less fearsome reputation in World of Tanks than it did in World War II. I come up here, OI Experimental, IS, dink one into the Experimental. Oh, and there's an A44 behind it. Son of a bitch. Now I've got help. I've got people coming up behind me. I've got my own OI Experimental. I've got an OE. I've got a Panzer IV H. But the key to this tank is you have to keep the gun shooting. It's got a great rate of fire. It's got fantastic damage per minute. But the alpha damage is miserable. It also has fantastic penetration. This is the fabled German Long 88. And I'm just going to put shots into the uh, cupola of that IS and into the turret of the A44 as long as these guys let me. Because the penetration is going to get through anywhere but the gun mantlet on these tanks. And you can see I'm not aiming particularly well. I'm just bouncing out, putting a shot in, and bouncing back. And that IS has gotten one hit on me, and I've taken two-thirds of his hit points off, almost, you know, three quarters of his hit points off now. You know, the downside is I'm not doing it very quickly. You know, I'm, I'm doing 240 damage a shot roughly. Get up here, I put a shot in, my wingman puts a shot in, I finish him off. Now I'm at half health, but I've done almost 2400 damage, I've got a kill, I've got two nice assists there. And this is, I mean, this game's going really well. I've got an SE-100Y, I'm going to come up, I'm going to give myself some cover. Dink one into his side. Eat a big shot from the Ag Panther. My teammates are going to hit him, I'm going to finish off the SE-100. Try to angle my armor. The, the armor on this is not enough to angle against the Ag Panther. And my teammates finish that guy off too. So I'm on two kills, I'm on 3,080 damage. Now notice what's left on the top of the enemy team. It is a Unicum uh, Scorpion. Now this guy is a reroll. He only has a thousand games, but his WN8 weight rating is insane. Um, I've, I've considered rerolling a couple times, but I'd give up my M6A2E1, so uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, so I will, I will keep my mediocre stats for the first, you know, 5,500 games I played and just make up for it later. Now, as you can see, I'm playing really carefully, because I'm a one-shot. I'm 70 hit points. The artillery doesn't even have to hit me. They just have to come close. But I want to draw this guy out, because he will just get volleyed off the field. So I miss there, and I back the hell up. And he gets insta-gibbed. The OE has the, the, the big silly gun. Um, basically a bigger version of the KV-2's gun. And I'm moving up on this guy, but I'm not doing it too aggressively because he can he can remove me from the game. I'm just trying to get a shot. Now he just fired, so I could have moved up aggressively. But that's it. You know, four and a half minutes and 3,000 damage. That's what this tank can do when it is not... You know, when you've got the opportunity to just take advantage of that damage per minute and put shot, 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 shot into the enemy. As you can see, another uh, high caliber. I did a ton of damage. Uh, Master Gunner, first class mastery badge. Really good players can do a ton of damage in this. So Ace Tanker is very difficult to get. I did get a first class mastery badge. Uh, 3,000 damage. One of the next two guys on my team combined. Two kills. 1100 base experience, um, three times the damage of their top guy, and you know four times the damage of the next. Uh, 14 hits, all 14 penetrated, only missed that one last shot where I was trying to not get killed by the scorpion. Um, 
only 200 damage from long range. That was on the uh, the SU-100Y. Damage blocked by armor, 300. The armor on this tank is not very good. I ate 1,400 points of damage and only blocked 300. Definitely a tank where your gun is an asset, your armor is a liability. Uh, to give you an idea, this tank has the same armor as the T-29. The difference is, on the front of this tank, it's not sloped. They hit you, they it's going to go right through. Even angling with this tank doesn't work too well because it's so flat. All right, folks, for Digital Flash Fire, this is Dan. Thanks for watching and have a great week.